Hello, and welcome to Just Calvin Movie Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Squirm. I, I chose this movie because it's about killer worms, which is a really fun idea. And then the cover art just looks like that's awesome. Like, man, that is a crazy poster that they had there. And it came out in 1976, and it's a cult movie. And I get why. Uh, but let's talk about it. I mean, the killer worm movie could have gone a couple of different ways. I was personally hoping it would be some really bad, cheesy B-movie, or it could also have gone the way of being a very self-aware parody. It doesn't really become either of those. It actually has some artistry to it um, and some competency, so it never really goes into so bad it's good territory, at least for me. The cool thing about it is it is killer worms. The worms do kill people, and so that's sort of fun. And they're gross and slimy, and there's thousands of them. Like, that is cool. Like, and it has special effects by Rick Baker, so the special effects look good and not cheesy. But, I don't know. I feel like in my killer worm movie, I sort of would have liked if they were a bit cheesier. You know, because it's a killer worm movie. That's dumb. Like, embrace it. And it doesn't. It takes it entirely seriously the entire time. And that doesn't do it so much for me. Um, I wish it was cheesier. And I wish it was just fun and overacted. And it really isn't. Like, there is some fun in it. There are some characters that are definitely overacting, but not to the extent where I would want them to be in the Killer Worm movie. Um, so I don't know, without, setting my expectations aside, it's not the movie I thought it was, so we'll set those expectations aside. The movie we get, though, is sort of just a mediocre horror movie from the 1970s. For most of it, it's pretty slow moving, you're just sort of dealing with a romance, which is actually not that terrible. I feel like it could have been way worse. It could have been like this really just poorly written, no chemistry thing, but there is some fun to it. I do actually, the central romance I actually sort of think is a fun, interesting thing. I also think the setting is fun. It's in Georgia, which it seems very unique for this type of horror movie, especially since the killer is worms and not some crazy like dude in the forest with an ax. So that's like fun stuff. Like a lot of this movie, you will be sort of mildly bored. And it sort of, I, I wish it just went crazier than it ends up going. It feels more like a drama that just happens to have some worms in it at times. And that makes it rough um, to watch. My overall thoughts on Squirm are it's sort of forgettable. And I don't know if I would really recommend it to anyone. Uh, because 1970s horror has a lot of good horror movies and a lot of bad horror movies. And so this being sort of in the middle is, you know, a little uneventful. I, I think that this movie really is only like really a big thing for people who are really deep into the horror genre or particularly love the 1970s because it doesn't really offer anything like perfect or anything like enough to recommend it. It sort of just exists as a mediocre horror movie. So I wouldn't really recommend it, Squirm. I mean, it wasn't like anyone was going to watch Squirm, uh, but I guess if you were going to watch Squirm, I am, I'm sorry, but I would probably skip it, watch something else. If you crave good special effects from Rick Baker, watch American Werewolf in London. If you're craving a cheesy, so bad it's good horror movie, watch Troll 2. And if you're just wanting a good horror movie for the holidays, do Halloween or any number of other movies from the 70s and 80s. This is sort of just not particularly good at anything and a little bit and a little bit too good to be bad enough to be entertaining. So that's my thoughts on Squirm. I'm a, I'm a little a little disappointed. This is the one I was looking forward to the, to the most. Um, so this is a this is a sad day uh, when the worm movie disappoints. But uh, we have one movie left.
for just Calvin Horror Movie Reviews this uh, month, and that is Halloween 3. It is the only Halloween movie without Michael Myers, and I am excited to see it because I think it's a little bit weirder than some of the other ones. At the very least, I don't think it's a slasher like the other ones are. But uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.